Right folks, I am back. I am doing something that I used to do in the early days of Blue Van Man. Uh, I'm going to do a newspaper review. But first things first, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out, not a shout out or a mention, um, to um, Francesca P. Cocaine Art. Um, cocaine's a name, not what she does. Which she might do. Don't know. Whatever. I doubt it though. Um, it's about the Australian bushfires. It has really broken my heart to see the uh, see the bushfires in Australia and the impact it has had on the wildlife there. Knowing that koalas are already at risk makes it even more vital that uh, we do what we can to help rescue and maintain these wonderful gentle animals' lives. So I've decided to do a giveaway. Uh, this is an original piece, watercolour and size A4. Um, entry requirements, this is all on Facebook. Anyone who donates a sum of £5 or more to the Australian Zoo Wildlife Warriors via this link will be entered. Uh, you will also need to like and share the post. Please uh, make sure you tell me that you have donated on this post so I confirm it's been received. Prints will be made and uh, will be sale for sale for £12 including postage. UK only international postage will be charged extra. All proceeds will be going to wires. Uh, the Australian Zoo was opened by Steve Irwin and is still run by his family today. Um, so let's get donating. Um, this is what she's done. I hope you can see this. Um, I will be posting, I'll put the link and everything there at the bottom. Um, it's uh, also, you can uh, please share this and get as much possible uh, to get this seen as much as possible. Uh, there's hashtags, hashtag bush fire support, hashtag save Australia, hashtag Australia burning, hashtag save the koalas, hashtag help Australia. Um, this is good. I did a bit of a rant on uh, my personal Facebook the other day. I am fed up with people posting pictures of burnt animals, dead animals and all that kind of thing when really we're not actually, we can't actually do something. But this is okay because this is actually um, relieving the guilt that people feel through this and it's you know gonna help some way. Um, I just don't want to keep seeing pictures of dead animals. I don't want to see it, right? So go on to Francesca's P P Cocaine Art on Facebook uh, and give it a go. Uh, donate and do all that stuff. It's it's really good. Oh, she's on Instagram as well. Right, I'll put all the links in the thingy to later on. Okay, folks, just get that out. Well, used to, well, know her husband as well, so there you go. Um, I'm reviewing the, um, the Daily Star. Um, I go through it and just give my opinions on things. The Daily Star is what I use because it's just quick, easy, and there's not a lot of substance to it. It's just um, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Um, apparently, Danger Mouse has been hit by uh, tele executives. They feared the Italian accent on the show would offend crime bosses. Apparently, there is a go to page eleven. <sighs> Uh, Danger Mass was at risk after blah de blah. The Brian Cosgrove says US exec, uh, TV execs turned it down over the cartoon character Stiletto Mafioso and it would offend crime bosses. If that's all they've got to be offended by, by a minor bird or whatever it is, with an Italian accent, then the world's a better place than I thought. Um, apparently there's been an increase of rats spotted around the Houses of Parliament. Um, we all know what we're thinking there, don't we, folks? Uh, apparently, uh, Bossy shelled out £111,498 on pest control. That's more than £300 a day in 2018 to 2019. The thing is, with London, it's such a shithole. Um, there's going to be rats and mice and vermin all over the place. You, you ain't going to stop it, and that's the way it is. Um, boy George, he has been criticised... Uh, single Boy George has criticised uh, gender-neutral pronouns after Sam Smith has to refer to as they or them. The um, karma chameleon hitman, 58, uh, tweeted, leave the pronouns at the door. You must, not, you must refer to me as Napoleon. And that is getting ridiculous, as it gets. I used the ladies' toilets throughout the 80s. Well, did you, boy? Well, I hope you lift the seat and didn't piss on it. Um, apparently, Jodie Whittaker has revealed her head on a set... Uh, has revealed her onset banter is X rated. Well, I wish the bloody storylines in Doctor Who were a damn sight better as well because they're pretty shit at the moment. Um, Stormzy turned up at uh, Breakfast TV and he was wearing his slippers. Um, he'd forgot to put his stab vest on and uh, he was wearing his slippers. 
Now, you know what that means, that people are, he's, he's probably done it as, an, uh, as a fashion statement and hoped everybody's going to copy him. Uh, and because I would have thought that most of the people that uh, watch Storms in that will follow him and because they're a bunch of sheep and we're walking around in slippers now. You know, slippers will go through. He's probably had shares in them. Um, do, 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 do. Colin Fowler is set to star as the Penguin in the new Batman. I ain't going to see how that works because, I mean, Colin Farrell's quite a good looking bloke and the Penguin is supposed to be somebody who is, you know, not saying Danny DeVito's an ugly bloke, but, you know, a, a cowering statue kind of thing. Um, a hit and run here by a police officer. Uh, well, not by a police officer. He's been hit and ran over. Uh, there he is, look. The state of that. Just going out, doing his job. Uh, you know, trying to catch scummy criminals and getting run over. Um, his, his wife put a picture up there of him and uh, asking for help to catch the people. Apparently it was knocked down by a Mini Cooper. I hope it wasn't June. Well, it weren't June because there were no dents in it. And um, June has not been to London for many years. Uh, Love Island's on. I am just going to skip by that because Love Island is the biggest pile of shit ever. It's a load of stupid wannabes who are too busy posing. I can't honestly understand why any of them will go out with any of them because nobody would love anybody on that show more than they would love themselves. A complete waste of fucking time. Um, more than half of us say we cannot imagine a world without online dating. Why? How did people used to go out and get hooked up without online dating they're all just so bloody lazy now they don't want to put the input in i actually had to walk up to june and ask and say hello to her before i went out with her um you know you have to do the groundwork not just by silly bloody texting where you don't know who you're texting or anything it's just a shit uh, apparently van man uh, white van man are motoring to fitness by ditching fast food booze and cigarettes according to a new survey um yeah, people are now um, getting rid of the uh, unhealthy lifestyle, the us van drivers. Um, I don't drive my van for a living, okay? The van is there to get the dogs in the back of the cage, and it's just, I feel comfortable in a van. Um, right, let's move on. Uh, 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 there's not a lot there. Gwyneth Paltrow says moving in with her new husband has ruined her sex life. The former actress, the famously conscientious uncoupled from uh, Coldplay frontman Chris Martin in 2014, married director Bradrin Falchuk. Four years later. Um, well, my right, fuck knows. Um, right, James Blunt, he's been abused for being too posh. Uh, he's moaning because he's too posh. Um, what the fucking hell's that got to do with it? being posh? Um, a police force has bragged. A police force has been slammed for bragging its officers will be getting tough on crime for a week. Uh, senior officers vowed to start 2020 by tackling issues thought to be the most important to the community, such as antisocial behaviour, violence, drug abuse and drink driving. But the crackdown will only last for seven days. The forces have uh, faced criticism from members of the community for arguing Fighting and crime should be efficient. Right, I do, the, the clue is in the title there, mate. You're a police officer, so you should be policing the area that you are in for a year. That year. That is what your job. The clue is in the title. Policing, right? But no doubt, the police will be... Now, don't take this the wrong way, right? But no doubt, the police officers will be out on uh, stupid events. Well, not stupid events, but on events where... They join in with the... Instead of doing the job, they're there joining in. And it's just pathetic. You see them, like, arsing about. Do your bloody jobs. Right? I'm not saying... I've just said there's a copper there who's been run down, right, doing his job. And then you want to, like, just... I don't know if you'd like this, if this is a tongue-in-cheek um, jive or, you know, perhaps you're thinking that the stupid criminals will think, oh, right, they're only doing it for one week. We can really go to town for the 51 other weeks of the year. For fuck's sake. Who puts these people in charge? Um, snowflakes want to ban alcohol at work, at social events, and replace it with mixed netball, cake decorating, and hat making. Terms such as drinks, Champagne reception or wine and nibble should be axed in favour of networking. Well, you're not going to get nobody going to these fucking things here. These, you know, 
social events at work are when people like let their hair down and they can chill out for a bit, not fucking make out. What is wrong with people? Oh. A teenager who was convicted of lying that she had been gang raped in Cyprus was flying back. Now, what the fuck is that all about? How can the apparently she like made the complaint or reported the crime and then like the she was taken by two male police officers into a room interrogate interrogated right and then she was like forced to or shall we say gently persuaded to change her bloody statement and stuff what the fuck is going on what I, this is what i can understand honestly understand right people that go abroad and all this right Cyprus is, is Cyprus in part of the Commonwealth? We should be hammering them now and saying, what the fuck's going on here? Let's get this sorted. There's a girl there that's been raped by 12 Israelis in Ayanapa. What is going on? Where is the... What, I just cannot honestly understand why there was not women involved. Is that country so fucking backward that we can't even go on holiday in the safety and then be attacked and then nothing be done? It is, but, but I'm saying that, but they, I, would, I would have them to guess that this is probably happening here as well. It happens all over the fucking place. You know, just unbelievable. That We should be sent, that it, it amazes me that we can send a company, uh, a police officers out to look for Madeleine McCann when we all probably know what's happened there. We know, we, look, we all know, we, we, you, you don't have to look any further than the parents for a start, right? But they've sent... They should be sending, they've sent people out to that, but they won't send people out to IAPA or Cyprus and sort out what's going off there, right? Get some of the police force, take them lazy fuckers who have just said he's only working for one week and send them out there and say, you don't come back until you've got results, knobhead. Um, David Attenborough has clocked up close to 2 million air miles, bringing the nature of the world to the TV. Well, I suppose that's healthy for the world, isn't it? Right, a drunk plane passenger who begged two men for a mile high romps and sex, uh, romps and then a salty cabin crew has been jailed. Demi Butt Burton, and rightly so here, Demi, you should be locked up for fucking longer than whatever it is. Um, was travelling Man from Manchester to Abu Dhabi and she got smashed on red wine, but then she refused more. When, but when she refused more, she butted, kicked and bit members of the crew. Six passengers tried to restrain her. They should have just punched her in the face. Right, and put her down, or not punch her in the face. But what I'm saying is, right, when you're like so many 30,000 miles up, travelling about 600 and some mile an hour, and then you've got some dumbass bitch who's pissed, who's biting, kicking, head butting people and stuff, they just need putting out, the, you just need putting down straight away, right? Get rid. That another woman, that, that some woman who's uh, perhaps all these. Um, cabin crew should be trained in martial arts MMA and then she could just hit her and then just put her down. I'm not saying that violence is the right way to go around things but sometimes it's just needed and that is the plain situation, that is one of the reasons why I don't fly because I'm fucking terrified some knobhead like that is going to get up and start opening bloody doors and kicking off I don't need it, that's why I don't fly um, so and I bet she's had your behaviour was pleasantly, uh, you're unpleasant, violent and persistent. She should, be, I'm just fed up with her. And look, this is their attitude, right? This is, that, that's their attitude. <sighs> right, we've got Megan now. She's feeling the heat after she's got back from Canada after a six week fucking holiday, right? I like Harry, but he's going down in my book, big style. Because to go away for six weeks to Canada, right? I liked Harry, but since he's married her, he's going downhill, big style. His mother would be going fucking mad. And don't start bringing an a colour issue into it either, because he's got fuck all to do with colour. She is living in a bloody dream world, right? She's come over, she's took over him, she's got a big fat fucking thumb on his head, and it's Harry, you will do. He's under more control now than when he was in the fucking army. The Sussex spent their first Thanksgiving and Christmas with baby Archie in an idyllic spot in Vancouver Island. It's just, they're not in the real world. And this, oh look, she's got a sweaty pit. And this will be the end of Harry, unless he gets it fucking sorted. JFK is selling a load of his memorabilia. 
Um, I wonder if they've got the magic bullet that did about 18 million turns in his body. Um, right. There's a, there's a bit there about uh, Crocodile Hunter Steve Irwin's 16 year old son Robert cradles an injured baby fruit bat as his family battles to save wild animals hurt in the Australia thing. If you see my beginning of this, you'll know all about it. Um, Ozzy Osbourne and Sir Elton John are finally making sweet music together. Ozzy say, Ozzy's wife Sharon says the Rocket Man has collaborated with the Prince of Darkness. That'll be mad, won't it? Can't think of that. Right, um, Bath the Chief Executives have blasted its own film awards shortlist for lack of diversity. Movie fans were furious that all the nominees for the major acting categories are white and there are no women nominated for the best directors for the seventh year in a row. Um, the arts charity boss Amanda Berry agreed the list representing the failure of the arts charity. Um, I, 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 I'm not. I'm not into films big style. I went to uh, see the Joker. I've seen the Irishman and other stuff, but I'm not really a big film fan. I don't honestly know if people can put in the comments below what who would you have nominated. For uh, what females or black actors would you have nominated? I am not being ignorant. I just don't know. If I don't know anything about it, I won't give an opinion. Um, so if people put the comments at the bottom, uh, that'd be great because I haven't got a clue. The thing is, unless people, unless you've got a black actor that's doing that or a black director or uh, a female director, you can't just put somebody there just because on the sex or the colour. You know what I mean? It, you've got to be... You've got to be able to do it, kind of thing. Uh, and it's no good going on, you know, it's like saying, oh, we should have a woman Prime Minister. Well, if the woman Prime Minister isn't good, as we could probably see with Theresa May, well, there again, you could say that with quite a few of the blokes as well. They're all fucking shit and all at the moment. Um, you know, you can't just do it. Um, cracking on, so I'm on the 17 minute mark. Um, now then, Ricky Gervais. Did you see the Ricky Gervais thing on the Golden Globes? He was absolutely spot on what he said. Take your little award, thank you God, and fuck off. He's dead right. If you've not seen it, get it up there. Um, Britain, um, we've got the worst serial rapist here. There's some bloke here, Sinega. Um, he raped at least 195 young men, preying on drunken lads coming out of nightclubs. What the fuck is going on there? How did that take 195? At least two of his victims have tried to take their own life or trying to struggle to cope with what happened. Now then, what do we do with him? Do we put him in prison? But I'll tell you what we should be doing. Right, because our prisons are basically holiday camps where you're just not allowed out. I personally think we should start giving them hard labour, smashing rocks, cleaning coal, and sticking them in the middle of nowhere on cold. And I'm fed up with all this thing about where they've got a TV, they've got this, they've got phones and that. No, let's make prison fucking prison. Um, if I might do a video on that, well, I'll think of it. Um, but do, 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 do. Some bloke here, he's had uh, Star Wars haircuts in his back of his head. Look, that's a Stormtrooper, as uh, Darth, and uh, what else? Well, that's a good one. That's a 3D one, isn't it? Oh, that's quite good. Right, let's crack on, folks. It's uh, I'm on 18 minutes. Uh, the son of footy star Ali McCoy is made to pay out to a man he left with life-changing injuries in a horror crash. Uh, suffered a brain, s uh, he suffered skull fracture and brain bleeding when Ag Argyle, Argyle McCoy struck him with his uninsured sports car. Now the Rangers and Scotland legend son 21 has settled out of court for an undisclosed. Well, he hasn't settled out of court, is he? Because he's 23 year old. He has not got half a million pounds. I would say he was a spoiled little brat, um, and he's, uh, well, McCoy's raced through a red light and hit Mr Murdoch as a crossing in Bishop Renfrewshire, Scotland, in his £20,000 Audi A1. Do you know what? <sighs> Just fucking amazes me. Uh, Vandals put a lifeboat... To a lifeboat rescue vehicle out of service by smashing its windscreen. See, there's another thing, Isle of Wight. What the fuck's going on with people? Why do they find it funny that with things that save lives, they need to go and smash them up? It's like when the ambulances turn up and, and then there's people throwing stones at fucking ambulance people. What the fuck's going on with the world? Got no respect. 
Um, Phoenix Knights, uh, they're trying to bring that back. Uh, Peter Kay's writing up a new one, and um, oh, everybody who was in it wants to be in it, and rightly so. Um, what the fuck? A woman attacked two paramedics, treason her for a seizure because she has a fear of people in uniform. Rebecca McDonald, 22, lashed out when she awoke on a kitchen floor to find the male 999 team trying to put a breathing aid over her mouth. She kicked one between the legs and scratched at both of them in a melee, in a melee which lasted for around 15 minutes. Her lawyer accepted her behaviour was entirely wrong and she had a phobia of uniforms and authority figures. So why hasn't Rebecca jumped over the fucking uh, defence box and punched the judge in the face? How much of a uniform and authority figure can you get there if she's not done that? Fucking unbelievable. Always got an excuse for things, really. Does my fucking head in. Um, what are we on? 20 minutes. Got 10 minutes, folks. Carlos Tevez was paid so much at Man City, he, was employ he employed someone to open his bills. Crazy life of a footballer, folks. A cathedral claims to have part of the manger. Bain, uh, Jesus was born in. And a fragment of rock from where he was buried. Right, I think he's just taking the piss there. I think he's just taking the fucking piss. Cathedral of St. John's, the Baptist in Norwich, claims the 2,000 year holy object were kept in the Rome for millennia. So where you got them from? You talk shit, some people. Mariah Carey in some kind of spot the difference. I'll spot the difference. Here's Mariah Carey before Walker's advert. Here's Mariah Carey after Walker's advert with a big wad of cash. Unbelievable. Right, TV, what we got here? Uh, inside number nine, always oh, been tipped for a sixth series before the fifth series has even aired. Oh, I do like the inside number nine. Them pair are very, very quality, quite clever writers. Grand Tour bosses could launch a run off spin off episode without the Fab Three. Well, that ain't going to work, is it? Because the Grand Tour is them three. You start spinning it off, and it ain't going to work. They're just trying to fucking invent money from nowhere. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Right, what we got here? Right, White House Farm um, unfolds over six episodes. is based on the shocking events of August 7th, 1985. Uh, the superb Stephen Graham's in it, so it's got to be worth watching. Um, so White House Farm on ITV on, oh, what day is it? Wednesday night. Right, let's have a quick go through the old uh, problem page. Just Jane. I detest his sex palace. My boyfriend refers to the bedroom as the sex palace, but I think it's hideous. From the red walls and mirrored ceiling to the disgusting fluffy carpet, it's like something out of a bad porno flick. We don't live together, so he says he, we should split our sleepovers evenly. But I feel dirty just touching his bed. Uh, he was a play before I met him, and I can't imagine how many other women have graced those sheet, purple sheets. Who is he, fucking print? Um, he maintains that everything is clean and I'll oh, just fucking get rid of because he ain't going to stay faithful because as soon as he stops taking it all the wrong and all wherever or doing what you do he'll get somebody else uh, my best friend has no idea how much I love her I'm about to say oh, I'm getting into that one because you're going to you're just going to make yourself unhappy the thing is there don't bother because she's probably, well, she might be trying I don't know but there you're going to got that hassle of saying I'm a bisexual I fancy you she might be a bit repulsed or something. Not that I find it repulsive, people, but you know what I mean? Uh, I, regret getting in, I regret getting my friend's husband to build an extension, build my extension. He won't stop telling me how unhappy he is with their marriage and says my friend is frigid and nasty. Apparently he's always cross-dressed and she knew about... What kind of fucking hell? Well, this is... Apparently he's always cross-dressed and she knew this when they, she married, but lately she, it's uh, become a bit of a problem for her. She refuses to let him wear his older clothes in the home, his other clothes in the home. Uh, so he's asked if he can come to mine in the evenings as Diana, his alter ego. Is you, you've only employed him, sweetheart. You haven't, you haven't become his bloody therapist or anything like that. Just say no. Build me an extension. Here, I'll use your money. Now, fuck off. Uh, my mother's never stops pestering me for money. Uh, but it's my 
job to pay her bills. Is it, why is it my job to pay her bills? I'm in my mid-twenties and haven't lived at home with her for three years, yet she calls me every week with a different story. I work full-time and don't, don't tell her I've been uh, to a pub. Bit of a piss poor bloody problem page this week. Um, yeah, I'll just say no mum, I'm skinned, or move, move away. Uh, right, let's see what else we've got here. See, uh, Man City battered Man United last night. Uh, Man United really are in the shit, isn't they? You know, you can dress it up as you like, but they are not getting any better. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not getting any good for Man United. Until Man United get rid of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and that bloody Edward Woodward, I don't think Man United will go anywhere. I think uh, they're very lacklustre and... Um, I mean, when you look at Liverpool, who played Everton the other night with their t kids' team and just ripped Everton to bits, they have obviously got some, you know, decent players coming through. Uh, but Man United are nowhere near that, are they? So, sorry, United folks, that's it. Uh, it's the Leicester City uh, v Aston Villa semi-final tonight in the Carabao Cup, and um, we will see what happens there. Um, there's that Carabao Cup, it always seems like a kiss of death sometimes to some clubs, doesn't it? They win it and then after that they all die, the, the season dies off for them. Um, I don't know what Villa are going to do, obviously they're battling against relegation, I don't know what kind of team they're going to put out, um, but it'll be interesting. I don't know what kind of team Leicester are going to put out, to be fair. Um, I would like to think that Brendan will put a good strong side out, get a result out there and then come back and finish the job. But you never know, you just never know. Cup games are always something different. Um, Chelsea have now paid out more than £100 million in compensation to former managers in the Roman Abramovich area. Yeah, but surely they must have made that as well. So. And uh, England won the second test in South Africa. Right, folks, um, that was a bit of a poor paper review today. I wasn't very impressed with it, but... Um, if you like this kind of thing, if you like me doing uh, my views and opinions, um, leave your comments down below and I will do it again. Um, just every uh, other week or something. All right, folks. Now then, if people have been asking for um, shout outs and stuff, there is only, I'm just basically picking out a few. Um, and I have got one, some lad in hospital, I will be doing it. Uh, but um, yeah, all right. All right, folks. Laters.